We finally have a new trailer for Replaced and it looks amazing. It gives us a look into the rising tensions in Phoenix City along with Sad Cat Studios' upgraded look for the game. After I go through the trailer, I'll also give you some highlights from a recent Xbox article, which mentions that players can expect high-speed stakes, bone-crunching combat, and unexpected modes of transport. The newspaper articles we see at the very beginning of the video sum up the state of things in this version of 1980s America. Nuclear testing leads to thousands of deaths. Then the mysterious Phoenix Initiative steps in and takes over during the chaos and panic. A few news clips play over the visuals and we hear some snippets like, An atomic test gone wrong leads to thousands of American lives lost and Phoenix Corporation representatives assure the walls were built for our own safety. I'm not so sure about that. No place we've seen yet has looked very safe. Our character starts off by making his way through the outskirts of the city. Maybe we're looking for something, or running from someone. I think this is where we'll actually begin the game. In the older trailers, there were shots of our character running through the woods and exploring areas that are much more empty than the brightly lit Phoenix City. And outside this city is where the Phoenix Corp dumps its waste, or the people they no longer have a need for. As the sun sets and the moon's glow covers this abandoned town, a character whistles down from the bridge in order to get our attention. Maybe this is who we were searching for, an old friend with a way into the city. This car is by far my favorite part of the whole trailer. First of all, it really gives a whole new meaning to the 2.5D perspective that Replaced has. These scenes do have a lot of depth to them already, but this shot in particular is the first time we see things from an entirely new angle. It also seems like the car has been modified to run on the train tracks leading into Phoenix City. So if we can actually drive the car and this isn't just a cutscene, then on-rails transportation is a great way to give players new ways to move around without breaking your game and having to add some kind of 3D mechanics. Later on, we learn that this character is named Tempest and that he's the leader of the Disposals. These are people who have been used and then abandoned by Phoenix Corp. And his dog's name is Excalibur. Presumably, after we reach Phoenix City, we meet up with a technician called Yo-Yo. These names were all stated in the Xbox article, which I have linked below. We've seen Yo-Yo before, and in these two scenes, you can really tell a difference between the visual style and details in these two trailers. Then we get another glimpse at combat and a platforming sequence. And now we're in the sewers, surrounded by some of the creatures that might live there. Maybe they're the result of one of the city's nuclear experiments. It's clear that someone doesn't want us down there though. Next is a shot of the tower district. I think the character animations are super well done here. Each character has their own unique stride pattern and walking speed. It's one thing to have an empty environment that looks nice, but to get all these moving parts working together takes something pretty special. Speaking of moving parts, we get to see some more combat, which is somehow more impressive than it was in last year's trailer. The final scene shows our character hanging onto a helicopter or drone, probably owned by the government. In the background, a sign lights up. Project Reach national treasure. I'm not really sure what that means, but it's got my attention. On Sadcat's Discord server, one of the developers confirmed that we will be seeing a lot more of Replaced next year. Here's a quote about that. I believe next year I will start sharing more about our animation, platforming, and combat as we will head into a very intense production period, connecting all those development puzzle pieces together. This statement leads me to believe that Replaced will be launching at the very, very end of 2023. I don't know exactly what connecting all those development puzzle pieces together means or how long that process will take, but they'll also have to polish and test things afterwards. So it could be a full year before we get to play, which is fine. Take all the time you need. Alongside the trailer, Xbox released a short article. They note Sadcat's transition to a custom rendering solution, which makes it easier to implement dynamic weather effects, natural lighting, and overall more convincing looking materials. A lot of work has also been done on the animation front, making gameplay smoother and helping the world to feel more alive. 
and this can definitely be seen in the newest trailer, especially in the combat sections and character animations, like I mentioned earlier. The trailer features a new song called Rust. Composer Igor Gritze took a lot of inspiration from the Hades soundtrack, with the music being embedded into the game's lore. Both songs released so far, Void and Rust, play a significant role in the story of a character we'll meet in Phoenix City, called Veronica Dame. I don't think we've seen who that is yet, and the devs might actually want to keep this character's identity a secret until the game launches. So that was a look at the second trailer for Replaced. Sadcat's hard work on the technical side of things has absolutely paid off, and the world building they've been laying down is all coming together to create a dark and intriguing environment. I'll be covering more Replaced news right here on this channel, so stick around for that. And if you missed my first video on the game, you can check it out here.